All right, to remove an application, click on software and center uh, Ubuntu software. Okay, click install and scroll down to the application that you want to remove, right? So go down, go down. So locate Google Chrome. So it's here at the bottom. I was looking for uh, uh, the Google logo. Anyway, you click on it and you click remove, okay? You have to enter your password that you created. And then it slowly is going to remove. Okay. Now we close it. So this is how, and let's see, let's install an application that is available in Software Center. So remember what well, we talked about VLC? Somebody said, oh, they cannot install VLC. What happened? It, this is very easy. If an app is available in uh, 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 Software Center, it's very easy to install and it works. So we're going to install VLC. Um, sir, yes. is uh, Software Center the same as the at? get in um, terminal okay uh yes i'm gonna talk about that aziz okay thank you all right so now we have vlc so go to your vlc is a very popular video program that everybody use okay to watch videos so now we have vlc here look So it's very easy to install uh, 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 applications what, if they're available in Software Center, okay? And, and even if they're not available, you can go to the, the, uh, the, uh, go to, uh, uh, the site of the application or, or, or the program that you wanna install, such as Google Chrome, just download it if they have the version of Linux. Most popular software has uh, 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 version for Linux. And then there are so many third party software. There's so many uh, apps and, and, and tools uh, uh, for that are specifically designed only for Linux. And for that, you have to use command line. And that's where I'm going to talk about. So let's so this is how you install uh, 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 apps uh, application using the uh, the Ubuntu software, like in Windows. So like uh, in Android, you go to the uh, what Play Store or or in i uh, iPhone, you go the uh, you go to the the iTunes or uh, uh, Apple Store to install software. This is uh, this is the same concept in uh, uh, Linux world. Now. So there's many software that are not the, uh, uh, supported by uh, the software. It's a different. So for that, you need to use uh, uh, you need to use uh, command line. Okay. So here in this course, uh, I added the link Ubuntu package management. Okay. So here. So what is the packages? So Aziz just asked me the question. Okay, a package is a software program, okay? An application and uh, in Ubuntu, uh, in Linux, they all the programs, all the application, they are stored in a place called repository, okay? Uh, so in there are Linux, there are well, what what repository means in English, you know, storage. So there is a storage on the, uh, which is not controlled by uh, a company. It's not like, okay, Microsoft. Uh, uh, so it's an open source where people can create packages, can uh, create. That's what I want. Why I wanted you to learn about open source as well. Okay. That. Uh, because there are a lot of uh, uh, philosophy behind it. So this repository stores applications. 
And this repository is accessible by command line, okay? So, and each variant of uh, uh, Linux use uh, uh, this repository and they use different package management system, okay? So the Ubuntu uh, 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 uses APT, Advanced uh, Packaging Tool. It's a package man uh, management system that access that let you ac download application from that repository. Okay, that is storage space, open source where there are all the applications are uh, are stored. So the command so that's what the the, the, the that's where your uh, 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 apps or, or or tools that later on you will install comes from from that repository now to access this repository or in, to install a package so let's say you if you want to install uh, 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 a tool called nmap nmap is a program that uh, uh, that is used is uh, used in network monitoring. Okay, so uh, to install net uh, 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 this tool and map, you the command is apt, which means advanced package tool that lets, uh, which is the the Ubuntu version of uh, 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 software management. And it goes, it looks for the repo repository and then find the program and then it downloads onto your computer. This is how you install on, uh, uh, how, how, uh, this is how you install uh, 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 applications using the command line, okay? Software, uh, so Aziz, uh, uh, to answer your question, the software center different uh, uses different uh, uh, package management. It's mostly, it's called a snap. So it's different. So there are two types. So there are actually three ways to install application in Linux system, okay? For Ubuntu, most effective is APT, Advanced Package. Packaging tool. And have they gotten rid of the dash get? I think, yeah, you don't have to use the dash get now. Yeah. Look, I'm used, I'm used to use dash get because you get used to using command line, but we'll talk okay, about it. Okay, it's only for scripts that you use the get. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll talk about the command a uh, bit later. So let's see. Uh, VLC. Okay, I'm going to remove. So I we installed. No. So we install VLC, remember? So I'm going to remove VLC. But um, when you say package, that's like earlier when you told us to save the file for Google. We need to have that file in our yeah, directory that's, that's to be package. able to install it. Exactly. Okay. That's a package. So anything, the whole. A package is like a .exe or a .msi in Windows. So it's an exactly. executable that can be downloaded? Yeah. yeah. Well, the reason it's called package is because. Uh, it's not just one file. When you install an application, there are many files. They are packaged, right? .exe file is just execute all those other files, manage all those other files, even in Windows. So that's what package means. So it's, it's just an application, uh, uh, sorry, application. So I'm going to remove VLC. That's it. I have no more VLC installed on my computer. Now we're going to install through the command line. So I'm going to start my uh, the terminal first.
Okay, so sudo. So when we talk about uh, installing packages, I have to explain what sudo means. <coughs> okay, so sudo means super user, user that has uh, uh, privileges to uh, to install uh, or modify uh, modify your system files. To install uh, uh, application, you have to be uh, a super user. So when you install your operating, when you install Ubuntu, you had to create a user account, right? Am I right? So that user yes. account, that user account is, think of uh, admin account in Windows, okay? So there's a group called uh, uh, sudo, and that account becomes the member of that uh, uh, sudo account. So now this account has, uh, full access to your computer. You, the, with this account, you can install application, modify system settings. But just like Windows, when you install something, you have to you, uh, you, uh, you have to uh, 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 to sign in with your password. So when it, whenever you're installing, so. Uh, uh, Whenever you're installing anything in your Linux system, you have to you uh, uh, you have to you uh, you have to do it uh, uh, as a super user. So let's say if I just type, for example, apt install vlc. Okay, could not open log file. Permission is denied because I'm just I, I'm just uh, uh, accessing it as a regular user without permission. That's why you have to log in as a super user. So whenever you're start and the command to log in as a super user is called sudo. So it's a command. So you, you only need to, for example, ls. I don't have to log in as a super user to view the directories. In my uh, typing directory. ls is like the equivalent of opening file explorer on a GUI, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I but to install application, I have to log in as a super user. So the command is super user. So now you will see if I type sudo uh, So you're not selected in your console, you're in the web page. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just looking for oh, something. Okay. okay. So the whenever you start, whenever you're working with APT, meaning uh, 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 the software packaging tool, you have to use, you should use sudo command. All right. So let's install. So we remove VLC. Okay. And now we want to install uh, uh, VLC through the command line. So the first thing you should do is whenever, like once in a while, whenever you're installing something, you should update uh, uh, update uh, uh, the the, uh, the repository, okay? And the command to update. So this way you will get all the updates and the newer application that were added. So the command is to update is sudo apt update. So the sudo is command just so to tell the Linux that you're logged in as you're doing this, you're performing this action as a super user. sudo, oh. So sudo is the command. apt, what does apt means? That we're installing or we're dealing with packet ma uh, 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 packaging tool, okay? So we are updating this packaging tool first, all the packages. So, It asks me for the password, so you have to enter the password, and it's going to update your packages. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it goes to the, uh, the, the 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 repository, and it it updates all the packages, right? Uh, sir. Yes. What about if you can't remember your password? You you can't get it done. If you don't remember your password, <laughs> then you are. What's the polite word to say? Yeah, you are screwed. 
<laughs> create a new. Uh, but you know image. what I mean. Yeah. You could never. That would be your job to help people who forget their password. Okay. That one. One of that would be one of your tasks as a tech support. So don't forget your own password, please. Okay. All right. So. It's good to uh, uh, update the repository first. So now we are stalling. What we are installing? VLC. Okay. Now to install, so now we have updated the command to install an application. All you, uh, the command is sudo again. Sudo means you're. Uh, logging in, you're performing this action as a super user. So it's not just when you're installing application, you have to use sudo command. You, all, you also use sudo command when you're modifying anything in your system, okay? So the sudo apt install vlc. But to get the actual package, is there any way to go get that package through the terminal or you have to go get it online no you have to get it online you have to okay. follow this uh okay so even for well, google we have to save file and then we can do it sudo exactly. app install google chrome yes okay okay but google look google provides the packages a uh, package in their website so it's much yeah. easier to download from there sure. than just go to command line but once you downloaded it download the package you can go to command line to install it I will go over that too, okay? There's so a typo we, in your app. You put two yes. A's. Yes, what did I do? What the... You put two A's instead of one A Exactly. In app. I did it on purpose. Well, actually not, but you see, the in the command line, you have to install, uh, uh, you have to be very, uh, very careful when you're typing the command. All right, sudo apt install vlc. So that's the command. And there you go. Yes obviously So as you can see, there are a lot of so many files that are part of this package. There are dependencies, some file, uh, uh, some file that is uh, uh, that installs that makes VLC work also depends on some other files. So they have to install that too. Okay. So you see the difference, the uh, installation between the the software center and uh, uh, with the the command line uh, with apt. Now, the thing is, you have a lot more choices uh, in, uh, in the repository. So you can find all kind of application. Not many app, uh, applications are available through the software center. That's why can't, you have to. Can't you do apps or oh, APT list upgradable to see what you have available in your? Um... Yes, there are many, many, ma uh, uh, many switches uh, with APT that you can use. So we'll talk about later. Let's uh, uh, just for now, uh, we'll now. So once you have installed uh, 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 the application, you can launch it from the command line. OK, I just type VLC, OK, and start the VLC player, OK? All right.
now we want to get rid of uh, a VLC. How do we remove a package from the command line? So remember, we learned how to remove it from the Socker Center. How do we remove the package from the command line? It's here. Instead of app install, you do app uh, remove. Exactly. So here, so let's do it. So you still have to be super user. So you type sudo apt remove vlc. Yes. Okay. Let me see. Is it still there? Even though I remove it in front of you. Okay. But is it still there? Okay, so there you have is to use uh, probably pseudo app auto remove to remove all the dependencies. Exactly. So there are other things that you should do. Like for example, uh, 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 there's a command called auto remove, but also there's command uh, uh, purge command. So if you want to make sure that your computer is completely like the, the app is completely uh, uh, removed, you have to use two other uh, command. Auto remove and purge. So just give me a second. You have to use commands all the time, or it's just uh, in this case. You have to use the command. Uh, what do you mean? Like you said, normally you can just do um, apt to the soccer center. No, I mean like usually you just use atp remove and then the name of the app uh -huh. and in this case it's not working yeah exactly so no in some applications it works and some uh, uh, application uh, it doesn't but as okay. a good practice you uh, uh, you, you should remove uh, uh, all the commands okay sorry no. you, you should remove all because there are a lot of hidden files that are uh, still installed okay when you just uh, use the remove command so what you have to do is you should I think we lost him. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. No, I'm still here. Hold on. I'm just. Okay, sorry. Yes. So here, so there's a command called uh, purge. I was just looking for command because I uh, I forgot. Okay, sudo apt purge and vlc then we type sudo apt auto remove yes So did you also install VNC from the package manager? I did install VLC from the package manager and I removed it from the package manager. Okay. Now I installed from the the, uh, the repository. Okay. And I'm just wondering if that's why it keeps opening. No, I removed it from there. Okay. So here VLC now it's finally removed. The thing is, I wanted you to know these uh, uh, these two other command, the purge command and auto remove. So it, it does not apply to only VLC. It could 
uh, uh, it could happen to other uh, application. But anyway, here's the thing. If you install an application through Software Center, okay, you should remove it from the Software Center, not from only from the command line, because sometimes uh, 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 if you remove from the uh, uh, from the command line, it will not remove properly because they use different uh, uh, packages. But if you uh, and if you uh, install a package from the command line, you should remove it from the command line. And what was the last command you said? Uh, sudo apt auto auto remove. I'm auto gonna remove. I'm gonna put the list of the command. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you guys the list. Anyway, the commands are here. Okay. So there are, uh, there are many, uh, uh, so they are different. So here you see purge from the system, broken packages, unpack. There's many switches with that comes with, uh, 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 that are associated with the, uh, uh, the APT command. Okay. So we can uh, practice this later. Okay. Now, uh, sorry, Ubuntu also uh, uh, uses uh, 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 a menu-driven uh, program to install packages, and it's called Aptitude. Okay, and you, I, by default, it's not installed in uh, uh, in every uh, Ubuntu. Uh, installation so let's see let's uh, i haven't actually i don't use that much i don't like menu I, I i prefer command line i don't like menu driven program but i i just like to show you how 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 how, how it looks like installing packages so it's command line is still but it the uh, it uh, so there's a menu where you can choose options okay so let's say So if you go to sudo, sir, can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, go so ahead. I, I tried to do it on my own to find and install my Google file with the command line, mm -hmm. um, and I got unable to locate package. Uh, so I'm, I think I put it. It says building dependency tree. So I think that is that because I put the I didn't put the proper path. Yeah, your directory is wrong. It's in the downloads directory, and you're trying to. You have to be in the download directory. directory. I will go over that too. So so yeah, downloads. That's the thing. I'm in my downloads. I, I know I did something wrong. I'm just not sure what. Well, I do an have ls and see. Do an ls, Richard. Yeah, I did, and it, it gave me the name of the uh, the whole thing. So then. Okay, I, and then did you do dpackage uh, dash i? No, I just tried to do sudo apt install. You can't do it like that. Oh, okay. You have to do dpackage. You can't do it from the app. I have because to because Google that. Chrome wasn't downloaded from app. Okay. So I do dpackage and then put the name in. Yeah, dpk. Okay, 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 Richard. I will go over how to install Google Chrome from the command line. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So I was go. Uh, so the other way to install packages is, uh, is, is, is there's a program called menu, uh, uh, it's menu driven program. It gives you the list of, uh, so you can choose from the menu and this program called aptitude. Okay, so let's try to install uh, VLC. So we removed VLC. Okay, there's no VLC now. So let's try to install VLC through aptitude. Oh, sorry. And I'm copying this command from this uh, 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 documents that I uh, uh, that I linked uh, uh, in Netacad. Okay. So sudo aptitude install VLC.
you wrote install twice sudo aptitude install install vlc okay <laughs> All right, so it's installing anyway. Okay, so right now I just want you to know uh, 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 know that uh, how to install applications in either with the command line and uh, uh, through the software center. We are not gonna. Uh, it's there are many different ways to install uh, applications in Linux. There are different version. This is actually advanced topic that will probably you will be covering more in detail when you do module 19 which is the the continuation of leaning so uh, so right now we're just going to cover basics i know you probably have a lot more question and a lot more so the the, the best thing is to to, to stick to the uh, uh, to the basics and then gradually learn more uh, okay so this is you can install uh, all right so uh, Packages either using uh, uh, command line and uh, 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 software center. Now, okay, installing Chrome using package uh, uh, command line. It's not. So what you have to do is you have to. Uh, I'm gonna put that uh, uh, link. Uh, uh, how to use. Uh, All right, so we already have. Let's see where where did you where we downloaded uh, our uh, Google Chrome. Ls so cd oh oh directory not found. What what's wrong? It's here? case sensitive, sir. Exactly. So all the uh, uh, so remember all the file names and uh, uh, the directory names are case sensitive. So I have two because I installed two. Okay, so so I have already downloaded the uh, uh, the Google Chrome. All I have to do is I have to uh, I have to install it. Before I install it, we have to install a utility called wget, okay? That's why probably you were not able to, uh, 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 to install through uh, uh, Google Chrome, okay? So what we're gonna do is the second, sudo apt okay so i already had the newest version of wget so uh yeah but make sure yeah before you install it use this command sudo apt install wget so once you once you install this uh, 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 update the version of uh, wget, we just gonna type sudo Now this is a DPK package. so it's not so we're not gonna use APT. 
uh, command we're going to use dpkg okay so sudo depending on the uh, on the package dash i and we type the name so what is the name of the google chrome stable current amd so you can copy and paste copy now enter is it is there another step we should be waiting for to show up on the oh okay never mind it just happened let's see if it... when i did that for me I, after a few seconds it popped up on my uh on my mm -hmm. bar on the side i don't what's that called like i know on windows it's a taskbar what's what's the bar on the side window called in uh, unix oh the favorite bar Okay, thank you. This? Yeah. We're talking about, yeah, this favorite. Okay. There you go. On it, I noticed too when you, or at least for me, when I when, when you install it through the terminal, it adds it to your favorite bar. You don't have to do it manually. Yes. Okay. So this is how you install uh, Google Chrome through command line. Now I'm going to put that link, OK? How to install Google through the command line. And there, uh, all the instructions are there. Oh, what did I do? Would you be able to explain uh, the what's the function of the uh, slash i? Oh, the, the, the uh, slash i is, is just a switch that you need to use when you install dpkga package. I want to um, install like a, well, what's the equivalent to notepad for Ubuntu? Is All right, it... excellent question. And this is the next topic. Is it gedit? I'm sorry. Is no, there are many. Uh, I use uh, uh, there's call Atom uh, Notepad plus plus. There are uh, uh, and there's uh, also okay Nano. You could just use a uh, Vim, Richard. Yeah, uh, uh, and there's also a, a, a program called Nano. Okay. All right. I'm gonna show. So there. Uh, just one second. What time is it? 9.40. Okay, we still have. Mm Okay, 21 must have ads for Ubuntu users, okay? So there are email client. You can install an email client. Ubuntu comes with an email client, which is Thunderbird email, but you can install another email client if you want. That could be... Uh, uh, well, it's uh, and you can add you, you, your online account there. Anyway, it's just for practice. So you can, I, well, most people use uh, uh, internet uh, 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 email uh, uh, system, but you can also install it on your own computer. I don't know. Do you guys use uh, Outlook in uh, Windows or you just use Gmail? Depends. Uh, for school, we mainly use Gmail. Okay. All right. So you can use uh, uh, then what do you? It depends on what uh, your need. What do you usually do with your computer? With uh, do you listen to music? 
you probably listen to the music. So there's a lollipop music player. There is Google Chrome. We already discussed how to install. Spotify. Uh, uh, Spotify. Oh, good thing is Spotify is through. You can install it in the software center. OK. So Spotify is available. I already have installed. That's why it's, it's, it says remove. OK. So Spotify is there. What else? This is G, uh, uh, program uh, uh, similar to Photoshop. And the good thing is all these programs are free, OK? So depending what you need. So these are uh, the suggestion, like 21. I have different programs. My program are mostly really, that's why I'm not showing you my program. Uh, my programs are mostly related to network monitoring, Wireshark, like these are technical programs that you need to know what they do, okay? Uh, Cisco Packet Tracer, Cisco, like I'll show you my computer later on, you will see. So I use it, uh, 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 I don't use Spotify on my computer. Uh, but so it's up to you. This is to show you what is available in Linux world. Like I said, start using it as your primary operating system, either in virtual machine or dual boot, and see how it is. Uh, uh, you already know Windows pretty much. Well, uh, yeah, I, I would say you, you know Windows well because you have done module three and nine that covers Windows. So learn uh, 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 the Linux as well, Ubuntu. And the, uh, the best way to learn is by using it. So use as uh, your everyday computer. Okay, and for that, because what is a computer without apps? It's, it's the, the, just a, a plastic box. So it's the apps that makes your computer uh, useful. So it's up to you what type of apps you use. So these are, what other apps? You have video editors, anybody who edit videos. Any, anybody is, uh, is an influencer or YouTuber. Okay, well, this is something you can do so you can add video. So what apps do you use? Tell me, normally. Anybody? Are we talking phone or computer? Both, computer and on the phone. Whatever you can, you, you, whatever, whatever you can do on, on, uh, on the phone, you can do it on computer. Discord. Okay, so what you use Discord a lot. So I don't know, find the Discord, uh, there must be a Linux version. Telegram, messaging services, okay? So this is a class program boosts user friendly layout encrypted chat, so you can use for chat. EPUB reader, okay? Caffeine is a small app. This is terminal emulator. So you have a built-in term, uh, terminal emulator, which is good enough, right? But you can install another one. You can practice with this. Only Office. This is a very good app. OK, it's a freeware. So it's a freeware only Office. And it looks just like Office. So those of you who knows Microsoft Office, you can use this app because it, like uh, all the uh, the interface is very similar to Office. So if you're used to using, uh, 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 for example, Microsoft Word or, so this is a good app. So I suggest you install this app and practice with it. This is the one we're gonna use, Ether Image Writer. Okay, this uh, this this is available on both Windows and uh, Linux. And what, what it does is it creates a bootable disk. Uh, sorry, bootable disk or USB, bootable media. So you can create a Windows bootable uh, uh, USB uh, using the uh, Ether Image Writer. And also we will use this to create Ubuntu bootable uh, uh, USB. So you can install on different computers. OK, what else? Uh, well, Twitter client, I'm not on Twitter. VLC, okay, popular. 
then you know your desktop is gnome uh, uh, desktop okay you can uh, install this app to tweak your desktop there are different options feeds rss client i don't know what it is uh it's team start gaming on linux those of you who are gamer okay The app lets you launch application or your system using nothing but your keyboard, but you launcher can do a lot more than launch apps thanks to extinction. So there are so many uh, flash point. All right, so the uh, uh, the Nano is a good program because somebody asked me well, what is the, the Notepad and uh, there is Notepad++, plus plus. okay? That is also good, all right. So that's it. So what I want you guys to do is, okay, APT, they have different switches, dash I, uh, dash I uh, uh, many different switches. You, and if you wanna know, because this is, I'm gonna teach, uh, uh, we're gonna cover later. So for example, if you, If you want to know, uh, what options a command has, type M A N L S. Alice is a command and you see, it will tell you what each option is. I don't even remember all the options. Okay. So if I'm typing a command, I don't remember. I just type uh, uh, man ls and it tells me list entries by columns, directory, dash d, dash d, okay? So somebody asked me what, who was this? So you, uh, we're gonna learn how to use man pages later on. Man, let's see. APT. So these are what the command does. APT for a high level command, all the different switches, APT get, APT, well, they're still using dash get, okay? It used to be uh, APT get install. Now it's just APT install. So here you can use different of uh, yeah you can look for the command and the switches but we we are not that's why i don't want to get into this now because i don't want to touch command line now this is going to be the next uh, chapter first i want you to guys familiar with the desktop because that's going to be in the exam as well okay how to to use the uh, command line and also use the desktop okay <clears throat> 